Hey everyone, it's Robin with Robin Eckersley Coaching. Welcome to vlog number two. I almost said vlog, but this is clearly a vlog, video vlog. <laughs> um, so this is my second vlog. The first one was about my efforts to include the creation of art into my everyday life so that I can work on building my dream life. Um, you know, not to say life right now isn't pretty awesome. It's pretty great, um, but it's not, um, it's not my ideal life, it's not my dream life. So um, I'll include a separate video about the update on my art creation and art progress um, in a little bit. But uh, for right now, I wanna talk about something that kind of popped into my head as I was on my way home from the gym this morning. And um, full disclosure, I'm coming off of a, I would say like four or five day slump where I wasn't feeling motivated, I wasn't feeling uh, like I even wanted to leave the house, I was feeling just really blah, and um, that was kind of all aspects of my life. Like I didn't even want to really hang out with people or leave the house. Um, and so when you are building a business like I am, uh, when you're really passionate about something like I am, you have a lot to do. You know, there's a lot of work to be done. And so feeling blah for days on end is not conducive to getting a lot of stuff done. So um, last week I did get a lot done and I was so productive and I was so pumped about everything. I was really excited about where everything was, you know, in my life, my business. And um, I was listening to my body and it was just like giving me the message that I needed to rest. You know, I needed to just kind of chill out and you know, I got a lot done, so let's just take a time out for a day and just kind of chill out and watch Netflix and Netflix and chill, literally. Um, so I did, and then that lasted like four days. So that's not really what I had planned. I thought I would take Friday off and I would get back to it on Saturday or at least, you know, mentally get back to it and start rolling around those ideas that I was coming up with and whatnot. Um, but it didn't happen that way. And um, when that happens, when that kind of slump and that kind of motivational low sets in, that bleeds into everything for me. It's not just, I'm not getting work done. It's, I'm not going to the gym. I'm slacking off in how I take care of myself, which sucks when you're a self-care coach, right? That doesn't really make sense. Um, but it also bleeds into uh, my personal life, like how much I want to go out and see my friends. Do I even want to leave the house and go have dinner with friends? Um, am I as talkative to Tony, my husband? Um, it, it impacts everything. So I was kind of done with that. I got my rest and I was like, okay, let's get back to business, but why isn't it clicking? Why isn't it just, you know, going back to business? And, um, I started to take a look at what I was <laughs> pumping into my eyes and my ears, essentially. What am I listening to? What am I watching? What am I surrounding myself with? What kind of um, media environment am I creating for myself and am I living in right now? So I noticed that on the music and listening side of things, when I listen to pop music, when I listen to dance music, um, when it's into like party music, I feel very carefree. I feel very like, hey, everything's all good. We're here to have a good time. And everything is very surface though. You know, there's not a lot of work getting done at this level. There's not a lot of deep thinking. There's not a lot of, for me, personal growth. And this is, this is completely subjective. So for other people, pop music might be where it's at. It might be, um, you know, how they kill it at the gym. I don't know. But for me, I notice that it's very like glossed over keeping it surface. Um, when I'm at the gym and I want to really focus and really, you know, um, start to work really hard, um, I put on some hip hop, I put on some rap music and I just get down to it because when I hear hip hop and I, when I hear rap, I tune everything out. It's like the world just looks differently. And I notice I become more aggressive. I notice I become more insulated you know, I feel like I'm kind of in my own world, my own bubble, and um, that's really great for me when I'm at the gym because that's where I want my head to be at, and it serves me. So when I'm listening to podcasts, I have a couple of favorites these days. Um, Being Boss 
has been a favorite podcast of mine for a really long time now. The School of Greatness is another good one, as well as Grit and Hustle. Um, when these folks are interviewing um, other people or sharing their own stories about their entrepreneurial journeys, lessons learned, um, advice for others, things like that, um, it gets me in the mindset of growth, of learning, of um, kind of getting back into these people have have built their own businesses or they're building their own businesses in progress. Um, I can learn something here. I, I want to go through that too. You know, I want to have that experience or that, that type of journey. And it gets my mind very um, business focused. So when I'm listening to all these different types of things, my perspective and my worldview is changing. When I say worldview, I'm not talking about the earth at large, though it does impact that too for purposes of what I'm talking about today and my personal, um, you know, what my microcosmic life looks like, um, the impact of what I listen to, it's much more directly impactful than I thought it would be, than I had anticipated it. But I've been kind of taking a look at this for the past few days and noticing that it is, it does make a big change. So it's not just what you listen to, though, or what I listen to. It's what I'm watching as well that's really impacting my world perspective and what I am, um, how, what I'm bringing to the table, how I'm showing up. So, for example, dramas or comedies or, um, you know, things that I like to watch on TV or Netflix. Um, I am a huge fan of Gotham, huge fan of Gotham. I've been lately... I finished Grace and Frankie a couple of weeks ago, which I think is fantastic. Um, Girlfriend's Guide to Getting Divorce is high up there on my list too. And lately, like most recently, I have been binge watching Vampire Diaries. 99% of the time, if it's just me watching Netflix, I'm watching Vampire Diaries. I'm only on season three, so I got a, a long way to go. Anyway, when I'm watching those shows, I'm checked out. I'm involved in this fantasy world that I'm watching and I'm not thinking, I'm not engaged in my life. It's almost like I'm on vacation of, and ducking out on my own life, um, which, is, which is when we need a break, right? That's great for when we need that kind of mental break and that mental downtime. Um, but it, again, it doesn't, I was watching that a whole lot uh, the past couple of days, those types of shows, and it was just kind of feeding into this idea, you have all the time in the world, it's okay, like, let's just watch one more episode, it's, you know, you want to find out what happens in the storyline, um, so it's, it's great, you know, on one hand it does serve us, but on the other hand, it's, if you have a different intention, maybe that's not the best thing to be putting into my eyeballs, um, so on the other hand, when I watch things like Marie TV, which is Marie Forleo's uh, YouTube channel, which is fantastic. Um, or I recently watched the Tony Robbins documentary called I Am Not Your Guru on Netflix. That is the type of stuff where they're talking business. They're talking about personal and spiritual development. They're talking about taking care of yourself and building your relationships. This is my sweet spot. This is where I get so fired up and so passionate and just listening to them, watching them, being um, observant of the conversation that they're having or talking about the experiences that they've had, I'm inspired. I get that focus back. I am learning again and growing. And I'm like, okay, this is why I'm putting together the business that I'm working on. This is why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, and it's a complete, it's a complete mentality shift. Um, and so... I notice that when I'm really on, when I'm really, you know, getting it, getting down to it, and I'm really productive throughout the week, I'm listening to a ton of podcasts. I'm watching a lot of Marie TV. I'm not watching dramas and comedies on Netflix. I save that for my down days. The only, so what I've learned from this past couple of days, weeks, months of, of tuning into observing what is going on in the world of what I'm watching, what is going on in the world of what I'm listening to, and how am I feeling? What am I, how am I going about my daily life? Um, I noticed, I fully believe that what you immerse yourself in starts 
to color your entire world and it impacts your entire world. We think that maybe we can, or I think, I thought that, you know, I could binge watch Netflix and get up and be like, all right, it's time to go to the gym. It's time to have this meeting. It's time to do X, Y, and Z. But no, that lingers even from the day before of, oh, so I watched three episodes yesterday. I really want to know what happens to Elena on Vampire Diaries. Um, And then I'll maybe put one on while I'm eating breakfast, which is seemingly innocuous to be watching, you know, something or listening to something that's very surface while you're doing other stuff like doing the dishes, while you're having breakfast, while you're walking the dog, whatever you do. Yes, but it's completely impacting my mental state as well. And that was something that was really cool that I kind of observed. So, um, you know, why do you think soundtracks and lighting are so important to movie making, right? Like that be- that's because it has a huge impact on what the movie feels like, what the impact is, what the viewer's experience is. So what about you? You know, what works for you? What doesn't work for you? What motivates you? What is, you know, what do you tune into to get you going? What do you tune into, tune into to kind of space out? Um, let me know if, if what I'm saying resonates with you and if that clicks in any way. Thank you so much for listening, and I will see you soon with vlog number three.